the table fans? And that came from the heart. So today we're going to look at, it's like an unboxing, remember when I used to do those? Uh, this came from a local game shop, so uh, let me just clear a spot here. And uh, got a Storm Talon. Look at that, this comes in like a Land Raider box. I did not know that. Right. And an Eldar Wave Serpent. Huzzah. And, oh, this is new. Void Raven Bomber. I do believe this is for the studio, so pretty excited about that. Look at that bad girl. Mmm, amazing. Uh, that was in White Dwarf. Um, I know because we have them in the bathrooms here. Okay, Eldar Swooping Hawks. Two boxes worth. Very excited. Uh, pretty much a unit of Swooping Hawks is an auto include for Eldar. Okay, we've got Dire Avengers. One, two, three. Oh, and I know what this is for. There is a the person who bought the Studio Eldar in Bone and Teal. Uh, picks up some expansions. These are new releases. Uh, the uh, Succubus and the Dark Eldar Archon. Now I'm not so sure. You know, I, a closed pose is not that fun to paint. And uh, I don't know, it doesn't lend itself well. But you can probably open that up pretty easily. They're plastic, which is a nice feature. They have decorative bases, which is really cool. You want to come in a little bit closer. Unless, hold on, let me, let me just check your, your um, thing. Nope, that's as wide as it needs to be. Okay, the succubus has a great active pose right there. And um, uh, not bad for a female figure. Uh, GW tends to struggle with female form, I think. Rackham. The French, they had it right. Bam, fire dragons. Now you may not know this, but uh, I think it was at the Nova Open, it was uh, Eldar were really uh, a top list with just a lot of, a lot of like six wave serpents or something like that. Wave serpents are incredible, amazing. And just, and just like five dire avengers, five dire avengers, five dire avengers. Uh, was it five fire dragons, five fire dragons? And that was kind of the way that it worked. Okay, and that is that is a tough list. That's really a tough list. Um, all right, let's continue. Box number one is that. Um, Storm Town. We got in a rhino and a drop pot. These will be in pairs, by the way. A rhino. Ta da! A drop pod. And uh, now we got some goodies. Mm. Dark Eldar book. Homunculus Covens. Now I wasn't expecting this. This was very interesting that uh, they went this direction to do like, because there was almost like a sub codex in the codex of racks, grotesques, homunculi, you know, those, uh, you know, body modification guys. So, can't wait to tear into this. I've already looked at this over, and of course we had the review with Dave. And I'm going to play against them today. We've got, I've got my army set up. I'm about to, to dive into that. I've got about an hour before that that rep starts. Oh, look at this. Dark LR painting guide, Raiders of Komorog. That's pretty awesome. Loving that. Now, by the way, we buy this stuff, so we have it on hand for when clients say, hey, by the way, do you have this book? So, oh, I try my best to keep up on all the publications so that our clients can reference those when they commission us. So anyway, uh, and I get two copies of every white dwarf, and one goes in each bathroom. I don't know, is that funny? Uh, I'm starting to really like Warhammer Visions. It gives me ideas, uh, and it's not just, because I thought it would just be like their stock models. No, it's like converted stuff, specialty items, staff has been working on you know, GW staffs and working on their stuff, so they take pictures of that, so I'm becoming a fan of Warhammer Visions, really like it. And uh, so here's two more white dwarfs. You do need to pick them up every week, though. We usually only get up to the FLGS about, I don't know, once every two weeks, maybe three weeks. Okay, Drop Zone Commander. I could not believe my eyes when I saw this. I did not, okay, that's good. I did not know this was coming. And uh, so Hawk War Games, you got to send me a copy of this. Pretty excited. So uh, let's take a look just real quick. Tons of amazing art. That's a razor worm. Just absolutely 
I mean, guys, this is, this stuff is through the roof. And there's a picture in here. Oh my God, I cannot, I cannot wait to spend time on this. New missions, the resistance uh, is in here. So hold on, there's some art in here that's really, so they have all the new things that you, ha you had to have downloaded data sheets for them before. So uh, this is just out of the park, man. Eden's dinosaurs. That is amazing. So these are actually, um, these are actually special characters. So um, yeah, just really, really neat. So um, wow, hold on. Oh, here's my favorite picture that I've seen it. That's a siren. All right, folks, we're doing a review of this later, so never fear. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to spend time with this. Drop Zone Commander, such a great game, great company, great owner, salt of the earth, just oh, such an amazingly good product. And uh, yeah, I just, just got to get that out there. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in and uh, stay tuned because we got a lot of great stuff coming up this week.